Hey everybody, this is Jason from LeanBodyMovement.com. Today's interview is going to be an awesome one for you. It's going to be full of uh, enthusiasm because I've been a really enthusiastic trainer on the call with me today. His name is Tyler Bramlett, and he's down in SoCal. I'm obviously always jealous when I think about his business down there in SoCal for obvious reasons. But um, anyways, uh, Tyler, thanks for being on the call with me today. My pleasure, Jason. Thanks for having me on, man. I appreciate the invitation. Cool. Yeah, and Tyler's got some awesome – I really – the reason why I wanted to get Tyler on the call personally and regards to myself is because I want to learn more about his PM3 med- method and how he's – affecting people with his PM3 training method, method and progression model because you'll you'll be able to see as you get into kind of seeing trainers and working with trainers, you're really going to be able to differentiate the good ones from the not-so-good ones or the seasoned ones from the not-so-seasoned ones by how they progress and how they plan and strategize with sure. bringing clients through programs. So that's one thing that I really look up to Tyler um, it's almost like a big brother because we're actually in the same kind of circle with trainers. So it's awesome to have him on the call with me. And, you know, before we kind of go into kind of the PM3 method and kind of the garage warrior mindset and the system and the mission, why don't you go and just give us a brief brief kind of history of how you got into the uh, fitness world, Tyler, if you would, and kind of where you're going to be going as far as with this garage warrior Oh, time. yeah, sure. My pleasure, Jason. Yeah, I'll give you the 50,000-mile view because I could just talk all day about it. But, yeah. you know, I don't think we talked about my past at all. I uh, I was a fat kid, man. I have two parents who uh, are, are overweight still to this day. They're getting they're getting better little by little. But um, I, I came from, you know, rough genetic stock when it comes to being lean, which has always been a challenge for me. And, um, you know, I, I kind of joke with people about how I used to think health food was a diet soda, right? And um, that's the background I came from. And it wasn't until I was about 16 years old that I read a Tony Robbins book, actually. I think it was uh, Unlimited Power. And that book made me realize one simple thing that changed my life. And that was I have the ability to choose who I want to become. Right? So if you're listening to this interview, you have the ability to choose who you want to become. That's so important. That's why I slowed it down there is because you guys have to make conscious decisions that, that ultimately deliver a result. And so what I did is what everybody else does, right? I opened uh, Arnold's Encyclopedia to Modern Bodybuilding. I went straight to the advanced section, and I started following along to his workouts. And lo and behold, two weeks later, I had the flu because I was overtrained. I'd never worked out before. I just joined a gym, and I went straight to the advanced bodybuilding program. <laughs> So, uh, you know, that's another mistake we could talk about in the future is people just going way too big, too fast, not honoring progressions like you talked about. Um, And so, you know, that was kind of like the start of this whole thing. And over the course of the next, oh, dang, it's probably been about 12 years now, I slowly just learned more and more, and I got into the fitness business myself. I started studying from, you know, old-time strongmen to uh, kettlebell gurus, powerlifters. I've done Olympic weightlifting stuff. Um... And more recently, I've been working with uh, acrobatic coaches. I've been working with a Cirque de Soleil coach on my hand balancing skills and really just understanding what it really takes to transform your body. And to me, it's always about forward movement. It's always about progressive movement. And that's what I've kind of ingrained in my philosophy for the Garage Warrior community, for how I train people privately, for how I train people online, for how I design my programs. It's just understanding that you have to constantly take small steps forward, not giant leaps, but small steps forward, and that's ultimately what gets you to your end goal. And that's what I try to teach everybody. It doesn't matter if it's nutrition or exercise or lifestyle. You're just taking small steps forward to build those new habits so you guys get a better lifestyle, look better naked, be stronger, be more mentally tough, make more money in your business, so on and so forth. Perfect. And that's that's an awesome 30,000 or 50,000, I should say, rather, uh, view of kind of your philosophy and, and what Tyler does. And you kind of touched on your big mission with Garage Warrior, but if you would, um, kind of just give us a little down low on kind of the, once again, the, the philosophy of Garage Warrior and how you're trying to affect um, people through that PM3 method. How about that? 
Absolutely. Yeah, we could we could talk about the PM3 method in a second here. I'll kind of dig into the details of that because it is important for people to understand that progressive movement isn't just about one aspect. It's about a lot more than just one simple kind of concept. Um, but, you know, my mission for, for Garage Warrior was really I just kind of sick of seeing people at the gym um, kind of plugging away at, with the gym bullshit. You know what I mean? Like if you yes. guys go to the yes. gym these days, you, you get your advice from like Vinny at the water fountain, you know, who's really just slanging steroids on the side to all the people who are getting good results. But like, you know, I found myself, I run a, a couple boot camp programs locally and I found myself teaching people things that took me over a decade to learn and teaching them with passion and them leaving like a seminar or a training appointment and being all excited about it. And then I'd see them two weeks later and they would tell me something completely different. Oh, I was talking to this other trainer and they told me about this book called the abs diet. And then I have to do this and I have to do that. And then I'm supposed to do a vegetarian. Now I'm low carb and now I'm high carb. And there's really some simple principles that get people results. And it's all this minutia that we have within the fitness industry that's just confusing people. And it makes sense. Don't get me wrong. Follow the money, right? Follow the money. Where where there's confusion, people spend more money over and over again. That's why nutrition is so confusing. That's why exercise is so confusing because people spend money on programs that that tell them one thing and then somebody else tells them something else and they just get confused by it. So I was kind of sick of that, man. I was just plain and simple sick of the BS that I saw. And so I was like, you know what, I'm going to turn my concepts and ideas into an online community for people. You can go to the gym if you want to, but I call it Garage Warrior because I love to work out at home in my garage gym um, and just use simple principles, simple concepts to keep you moving forward and keep you working towards your results. So that's, that's kind of what I started with that thing. And, you know, all of my programs are based on this PM3 method. And um, you want me to touch on that, Jason? You want me to dig into the PM3? Yeah, let's do PM3. Okay, so PM3 is really simple. It's just a, it's my it's my sexy name for the system. Everybody's got to have a sexy name, otherwise uh, it doesn't sound appealing to anybody. Unfortunately, the marketers are the best people at getting people to notice you. So we have to kind of honor some of that principles in our in our programs and things like that. So the PM3 method is really simple. It's called progressive movement. Three. And so oftentimes people will look at an exercise, like, you know, let's say like a dumbbell curl, something simple like that, right? And the only way to progress a dumbbell curl in most people's minds is to add resistance, to add weight, right? And there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. I'm all for adding resistance to movement patterns, but they ignore that there is more complexity that is available. And I'll give you an example. Is Let's say somebody wants to learn how to get into the Olympic lifts, which are notoriously very challenging lifts to coach, right? Instead right. of taking somebody and just grinding them on a barbell clean over and over again, you know, they're, they're going from the ground all the way to their shoulders in one super smooth, clean motion. What I'll do is I'll take them through simple movement patterns, things like a deadlift. Then I might do a cheat reverse curl. Then I might do a reverse clean, so where you're just rehearsing the negative of the motion. And then I might finally have them do the clean. And over time, I'm, I'm not talking about this in one day. I'm talking about they do deadlifts for four to six weeks until it's perfect until all of the yep. elements of biomechanics are perfect, and then we change the exercise, we sophisticate the movement, right, in right. order to get them better results over the long haul. And ultimately what happens is we realize there's no end, right? And so it makes your training mm-hmm. way more fun, right? When people get married right. to like a, like a power lifter or something like that, nothing wrong with power lifting. I love power lifters. I've met a lot of really great power lifters, but the reality is these guys can't scratch their back. Right? Because all they do is bench, squat, and deadlift. Now, there's a few out there that are branching out a little bit, and they're honoring movement as the king of fitness, which ultimately it is. It's not about um, reps and sets and -and so-and-so scheme or whatnot. It's about can you move better? Because if you move better, you'll perform better. And if you perform better, you're going to look better naked, plain and simple. Right? So the PM3 method honors three different sections. The first is strength and stability, right, which essentially means how – how hard you can fire your muscles and all the little muscles around a joint. The second part is balance and coordination, right? So we want to always increase the ability for you to have more balance and coordination within a lift. So that could be a sophistication of the movement or it could be an element of instability. And I'm not talking about doing pink Barbie curls on a BOSU ball. I'm talking about much more advanced (laughs) exercises than that that are real movements, that are real training movements, right? And then the last one is flexibility and range of motion because a lot of times people will say, like say they'll work on their squat. I have a client right now who started working with me just over a year ago, and he came in and he couldn't even squat to a chair 
with good form. His pelvis is tucking under, his shoulders are rounding forward. And that, to me, was indicative of two things on this particular guy. He had tight ankles and he had tight hamstrings, which pulled his pelvis under and made him have bad form at the bottom. So over the course of a year, we took him from a crappy 65-pound back squat and we stretched his hamstrings, we stretched his ankles, we improved his posture through doing lots of rows and posterior movements, and just the other day he squatted 308 pounds for 10 reps. Wonderful. <laughs> right? Okay, 308 yeah. pounds for 10 reps. And he's 47 years old, right? Nice. We're not talking about a spring chicken here. So that to me is what it's all about. And when he did those squats with 308 pounds, he did them ass to grass, right? Because yep. over yep. time we've built flexibility, range of motion, strength and stability, and, well, the squat's not the best example of balance and coordination in that t- particular way. That would be more, you know, associated to maybe working on, like, a one-legged squat or working on some hand-balancing stuff, some handstand push-ups, things like that. So that's what yeah. I do with the PM3 method. I break down a, a element of movement, you know, like a horizontal push-up or a horizontal press, and I break them down into components that increase in those three areas. That way somebody can start out with something as simple as a wall push-up and end up doing things like one-arm push-ups, one-arm clap push-ups, planche push-ups, things that seem impossible. But the whole goal is don't get stuck where you're at, right? right. So that's why right. I kind of dislike some of these, these um, you know, like the, the how, P90X exercise videos. They have like five people on the screen, and there's one guy doing a beginner move, and one guy doing an intermediate move, and one guy doing an advanced move, and they say, follow along with, to whatever level you want, right? Yeah. And what, yeah. Do, what do people do? They get married to whoever they're following along to. Right, uh-huh. So they start following along to that guy, and they, they just keep working with that guy. What do they do? They never step up to the next level because they're mm-hmm. intimidated by the next level. And so what I try to do with my programs is create tiers of difficulty. So you stay, you come in and you start at a level one, and you work those exercises, you work those workouts until they feel good and comfortable. And then once you are comfortable, we know it's time to make a change, right? It's time to get uncomfortable right. again. <laughs> and so yeah. when we get you uncomfortable, that's when we're making that effective change. And to me, like I said, the opportunities are limitless. Like you cannot, yeah. you cannot stall out. Plain and simple. If you, can, if you think you're stalled out, email me, garagewarrior at gmail.com, and I promise you I will give you something harder. Right. So you got it. There's your call out, everybody. So give them a... Give him a shout if you if you if you wanted that challenge. Yeah, yeah. If so, you think you're at the the top of your game, I will find something more challenging for you. I promise. Right. Now I've seen a lot of Tyler's videos, and he's got a lot of really the what I describe it is just very broken down instruction. So I mean, I could come out from literally no experience, and and after the video, I'd already be able to tell someone else about what I learned, and that's what I like about. Um, your videos, Tyler. So that's awesome. Um, let's go ahead and hit body weight flow because I've been really curious about this program, and I know it's uh, like we just touched on PM3 and all that stuff. And you're going to be teaming up with a Pilates expert, yeah, and yeah. an awesome Pilates expert at that. And uh, how about we talk a little bit about body weight flow because that's actually coming up. It's about to be released, and I'm excited about that. So let's get awesome. a quick description on that one. Sure, yeah, I'll give you kind of the rundown on it because this is really powerful information. If you guys are listening to this, I'm going to kind of pretty much tell you how you can uh, get better results in your workouts in two to three minutes, okay? But before I do that, let me give you a little background. So I got, obviously I got interested in movement as I was educating myself and I was moving forward. I worked with one of the top physical therapists in the world. I've actually also suffered several injuries myself, um, and so I've had to do lots and lots of physical therapy Um, to fix those injuries. And during that time, I've learned a lot from these people, and I've studied a lot from other people just to make sure I was able to maximize um, my recovery from these things. Because, you know, a lot of times people go to, like, some crappy PT. They don't end up fully recovering. And I'm still actually struggling with one, my last knee injury that's, that's, that's taught me a lot. Right. And so what ultimately I did was I got so interested in movement and coming up with these concepts and ideas like um, one of the other concepts I came up with is called proper muscle activation sequencing. So PMAS. And it's again, it's just a sexy name for saying, are you actually using the proper muscles to do an exercise? So like a simple example, again, is the deadlift. Right. I can do a deadlift with seemingly perfect form, meaning it looks like it should be good form, but something is not working properly. And that's something that's not working could cause an injury or inhibit strength. And if I fix what's not working, then instantly you become stronger. And when you get stronger, you can lift more for more reps. And when you can lift more for more reps, 
you're, again, you're going to look better naked, right? So there, I just try to remove people's mindsets from, from this thought of exercising uh, to look better naked to performance and movement, and ultimately that's just going to come with it. Like, even, have you ever seen an Olympic athlete that didn't look good naked? <laughs> right? It, it doesn't exist, right? Because they all know how to move well. They focus on performance first. So let's get right. back to the body weight flow thing. So I created a warm-up program uh, a little over a year ago. About a, yeah, a little bit over a year ago is when I launched my first online program. It was called the Warrior Warm-Up, right? And it was a follow-along mm-hmm. workout program. I think that you might have sent an email out or two to your list about the Warrior Warm-Up, Jason. Um, yep, they loved it. Pro- we, we, excellent. It, yeah. it program. People liked it. The one complaint I got about the Warrior Warm-Up was that, it was too hard. It was too long. Yeah. I don't have time to do it, right? I, I think yeah. that the progression is really good, but granted, the, the videos take 15 minutes. So, you know, people are complaining about 15 minutes. I get it. <laughs> I just had a baby. I run several businesses. I'm super busy. I didn't have the time to do the warm-up every single day as well. And so what I did is I actually pulled the Warrior warm-up off the shelves for right now. I'm going to redo it and repackage it as like a more complex warm-up in the future. But we created a system, me and a girl named Sylvia Favela, called Bodyweight Flow. Okay? And the concept behind Bodyweight Flow is simple. Here is a sequence of movements that you can do in two to three minutes that are going to accelerate your results. Now, we kept saying to each other when we were creating these programs and ideas, accelerate your results, accelerate your results, right? And we were like, you know what? We need some hard data. So we started digging into the scientific literature, and I found some stuff that blew my mind, okay? And I have some stats here. I can pull them up on my laptop real quick. So basically, I found that when you do a sequence of movements like bodyweight flow, like a pre-workout routine that really utilizes movement, um, movement as the kind of the paradigm, you increase your oxygen uptake during a workout by 21.4%. And so what we know is that oxygen uptake initially kind of relates to your eventual fat burn as well. So we're like, holy crap, people are going to lose fat 21% faster by adding a two to three minute warm up before the routine. And then in addition to that, I looked even more, I was like, well, what about strength stuff? Right. And we found that increased upper body strength as measured by the pull up by 32%, 32%. (laughs) So these guys were doing no pre-workout routine like we do with body weight flow and say they were getting um, 10 reps in a pull up. And then the next day they come back and they would do a pre-workout routine like we teach in bodyweight flow, and then we get 13 pull-ups, right? So an increase in strength by 32%. In addition to that, 7% on flexibility, okay? And we know, just like I just talked about, flexibility and range of motion is important because, A, the more range of motion you get out of an exercise, the more metabolic it's going to be, and, B, you're less likely to injure yourself when you have more range of motion because you can safely go through a greater range of motion. And then even down to the speed and agility, they increase their speed and agility by 2.5% as well. The only decrease that we found in the scientific literature was time to exhaustion. And so this is kind of a funny thing to me, was ultimately what a body weight flow style routine, a two to three minute pre-workout routine does is it allows you to work your butt off way harder during the workout. And the only downside is that you're going to have to work out for less time and get better results. <laughs> right? That doesn't sound bad to me, right? I mean, I don't, I, don't, I, like I don't particularly like 45 minute boot downs. To me, if you can get 15 minutes high intensity work done, just get it done and go home. You know what I mean? Right. And so if this can help you improve your oxygen uptake by 21.4% and it only takes two minutes, what we thought of was like, nobody's got any excuses now. We're not asking for 15 minutes. We're not asking for complicated routines. We have beginner, intermediate, advanced, follow-along videos, professionally filmed and edited, so it's entertaining to, to watch. Plus, you have to admit, Sylvia's a very attractive girl, so I'm bringing down property values in the looks department there. And so if you guys are watching <laughs> along, you have a, an attractive girl to look at as well, which is always, which is always fun. So I, I think it's going to be a revolutionary program in the industry simply because like, all we're asking is for two to three minutes, and I'm still digging through the scientific research and finding more stuff, Jason, like talking about using them between your sets to increase that oxygen uptake again. So like instead of just using it as a pre-workout routine, maybe you just do one body weight flow and then you do your set of squats and then you do another body weight flow and then you do a set of, you know, bench press or push-ups or pull-ups or whatever and you do another body weight flow. And like that way it just kind of increases everything. And in addition to that, I haven't even talked, this is just a science mumbo jumbo, I haven't even talked about the fact that when you move better, you have better connection to your muscles. When you have better connection to your muscles, you move better, you're stronger and you look better naked like I just keep saying over and over again. So there, there's so many benefits to a, a program that teaches you how to move and flow with your body that I would take, you know, it would take all day. I could just 
spend all day on the call talking about the benefits of it because I believe so strongly in it. I know it's just pumping me up just, just talking about it, dude. Yeah, I know. I got. I have to send you some body weight flows to throw in before you work out. <laughs> right, and so that's why I was so excited to to get a little insider look on body weight flow because yeah, I know that you guys and you brought up EPOC or post exercise oxygen consumption, and these are terms that although you know a lot of clients don't really care about, it's important to know that your trainer or your system, the person behind that system, is insanely passionate and could run through a wall in order to to literally dig up the research and do what needs to be done to make research proven systems. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, I was I, I like. was operating off of intuition. Sorry to cut you off there. I was operating off of intuition with this one because I've seen the results that people get from learning uh, how to move just better. Like just a simple right. warm up. It doesn't have to be advanced things. You know, I'm not teaching people how to do backflips and stuff like that. Yeah. We're talking about rotational squat movements, core stability movements, flowing movements, things like that. When I saw the results that my clients were getting, I had to assume it was because of the relationship between my progressive movement method and then just really, really dialing in the movement movement during the warm-ups, like perfecting technique, teaching them how to move better. And then I started like, okay, you know, obviously it's always better to have some scientific backing. So I went looking for the scientific research and it was like, it was in droves, Jason. And it like motivated me. I kept looking and I couldn't find anything negative. Like I said, the only negative thing I could find was decrease in time to exhaustion. So like the only thing that you, you do is like have to work out less. Right, like I just, I, 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 that's not a, that's not a negative to me, yeah. <laughs> you know. And so I just, you know, I keep looking it up. I have an assistant that, um, luckily was a master's in, in marine biology, so she knows how to look up research articles and stuff as well. And so we're just trying to dig through all the stuff related to warm ups, uh, mobility stuff, and we're also trying to make sure that we're honoring the best. Uh, principles. So we're looking at, you know, hey, is passive stretching better than active stretching? And every single time it comes out to active. And then we talk about, is a dynamic warm-up better than just active stretching? And yeah, it comes out better, right? So we're trying to make sure that we're optimizing our own results that we're getting with our clients so that we can ultimately sell a program that really is backed by science, backed by our own bro science anecdotal evidence, and um, ultimately delivers better results. Perfect. That's awesome. And that's exactly why I wanted to talk about that. (laughs) <laughs> uh, so, Woo, baby! <laughs> plus, it's, it's awesome stuff, and it's gonna be it's gonna make a huge cause each stir in the industry, which is what I like to do. So yeah, absolutely, uh, me too. Cool. <laughs> so you know what? That is kind of what I had on the list for us to cover. Um, and body weight flow, like I said, we could talk about that for for all day long. Um, but I wanted to kind of sum things up with where could we find you? Where can the listeners find you at, Tyler? Well, you know, the easiest way to find me is go to go to garagewarrior.com. There's a little thing on the side that says get five free workouts. Put your email there, and they can check it out, and they can get on my mailing list and get all my crazy ideas in writing, and I do interviews like you do and stuff like that. Um, you can find me on YouTube. Go check out The Garage Warrior. I am an avid YouTuber. I've, I have a goal of doing two YouTube videos per day, every single day, until the end of the year. I want to get to 1,000 videos really bad. So Beautiful. I answer all kinds of questions. If you guys have specific questions, you can email me on YouTube. You can email me on Facebook. And guess what? Your question goes on a list, and I make a video about every single question that comes my way. And I'm up to like 300 and something right now. So I'm going to continue to do that just because I'm really passionate about helping people reach their goals. And, you know, ultimately I can share kind of these, uh, these blunt force theories with people but when it comes down to it, you know, everybody's an individual. Everybody has individual goals. Everybody has individual genetics. So I try to help people on an individual level through my YouTube videos, through my Facebook posts, through my, through my, my blog posts and stuff. So you guys can find me through there. Um, let me just impart one more thing with you guys. And like I said in the start, this was the biggest change in my life was that I had the ability to choose who I would become, right? And I, I say that right. over and over again all the time. And it's just about choosing. Like so many people Jason, they don't even choose, right? Mm-hmm. They, they just like yep. wake up in the morning and they're like, oh, that would be nice to be 30 pounds lighter, or that would be nice to look great on the beach, or that would be nice to do 100 push-ups. And then what do they do? They don't take any action. Maybe the most action they take is they open their wallet and they buy a program. They never do anything, yep. right? And that just makes me sad, dude. That's why I wanted my stuff to be so progressive that somebody, like you said, who's a total beginner could come on the scene and get better information from my videos than they could from going to their local personal trainer, right? And yeah. then work all the way up to things that people would generally consider seemingly impossible, 
you know. And that's what I wanted yeah. them to do with these programs. So just so I, I picked my goal, you guys. I want to be an influence in the fitness industry. I want to be a force to be reckoned with. I want people to know about progressive movement. I want people to know that movement is king. It's not about fat loss and paleo and CrossFit. It's about <laughs> movement. Right? It's about yeah. movement. And to me, that's what I try to teach people. I teach people self improvement through forward movement, right? Just making Perfect. yourself better, just little by little, each and every single day. And that's what you gotta do if you wanna just become a better person. If you wanna look back on your life and look at look at your gravestone and be like, That is exactly who I wanted to become. So choose. Take a moment today, think about it. I've thought about it for years. I I rethink about it every month. Who do you want to become? And then take the action steps that it takes to become that person. Perfect. And that's an awesome thing to end on because it all starts and ends with the mindset. And that's yeah. a huge thing to bring up. And I'm, I'm glad that we share that, uh, that, my, that basic foundational philosophy. So, cool. Well, thanks again, Tyler. It was a pleasure being on the call with you today. And I'm sure our, our listeners appreciated the heck out of it. And, uh, once again, you can find Tyler at garagewarrior.com. And once again, I'm on his list, so I am so pumped to get his information that I always check my email for what he has to put out because it's always awesome. And he's a huge example for me in the training and the whole training world. So once again, that is Tyler Bramlett from garagewarrior.com. I'm going to sign off. This is Jason with leanbodymovement.com, and we will talk to you guys very soon. Thanks, Jason.